Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon playthrough. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today. If you do want to go support the episode, make sure to drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we took on Kiyoway's trial, I do believe. And this time, we're going to be heading over to Mallow's trial. I think I actually have no idea. The bottom of the map says we're supposed to go to... This part up here, so I still have no idea where that is, but our team is looking crispy, of course. Cause it, when is it not looking crispy, to be completely honest? We have Santana the Magnemite. We also have El Tigre the Halucha, Splatoon the Inke, Bullseye the Dartrix, Cletus the Mudbray, and Shakira the Salazzle. So hopefully Shakira will get up to par, uh, you know, in the near future so we can use it in Mallow's trial, so that's gonna be very, very helpful. Uh, but for now, I guess we'll just lead with Santana because it's the lowest level mod on our team. Well, let's go over to that red flag because, you know, normally red flags mean bad things, but now we gotta go over there. So, I'm trying to think to myself, what could Mallow's um, totem Pokemon be for her trial? Because it didn't make much sense for me to have the Salazzle totem Pokemon get changed, but that was changed, so maybe this one will be changed too. I have no idea, um, but we gotta talk to this guy. So that means you can now ride on Charizard in that case. Why don't I tell you about a great way to play with the Pokemon in your boxes? You ready for this? Oh god, I don't wanna do this. Do we- are we forced to do anything? Oh yeah, hold on, I wanted to check out this area. I totally forgot this was even a thing. Um, good, we don't have to battle that guy. Uh, hold on, what's over there? I am very curious now. Let's play Repel though. Yeah, I don't know what uh, the totem Pokemon for Malo's Trial could be. The Lorantis gave me so many problems in um, Sun and Moon, so you know what? If it wasn't a Lorantis, I would not be the most mad person in the world. I'd definitely be okay with it. Alright, we can't jump over there. I have no idea what we're supposed to do. Well, in terms of exploring this area, I don't know where to go. Doesn't look like it's that- oh, we just gotta go around. Make one giant circle. Oh, no. Don't come out. No. Mm. I don't know how we avoided all of those, because when we were walking back in, um, was it Verdant Cavern? We somehow, like, got encounters from every single one of the Pokemon that came out of those dust clouds. So I don't know how we just did that. Yo, but shout out to, shout out to, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> this is the first video I'm recording today, so I seem a little bit off. It's just because it's the first video I'm recording today. That's the only explanation for it. Um, there is a TM over here. I, double team. We did all this for double team? Really? I... If I have to fight this trainer, I'm gonna be so upset. Thank you. Well, I don't think that was exactly worth it, but whatever. Whatever, man. Yeah, if it was like Scald or some other water TM, that'd, been, that'd have made more sense, and that would have been great. But unfortunately, just double team. Alright, we gotta go up here, though. Oh, that's a Fire MZ. Congratulations on clearing Kiyoway's trial in that case. Voila! Here you go! You're free to pass. Captain Mallow's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you will find it in Lush Jungle. Perfect. I'm still trying to fathom the fact that we have a level 17 Salazzle when Salanda doesn't evolve until level 33. It's so cool to me. It really is. Alright, uh, ooh. You know what? Let's lead with, uh, Santana still. What is this? The numbers keep climbing in my air, uh, in my aura readings. Ah, Supra, I bid you a Lola. Hmm, this fine tunnel. It is most fascinating to learn that there are a variety of construction methods made possible by the Pokemon that lend their aid to humans. Trial goers clear many trials. It is only natural, perhaps, that such a trainer would exude, exude. I've actually never seen that word before. Aura, after coming in contact with so many totem Pokemon, washed in aura. Oh, and you, young man. You seem to have even more Z crystals than we last met. Uh, than more Z crystals than when we last met. Whatever. Uh, do you hope to master the Z moves? Sure. Uh, that wondrous light that appears when a Z move is used. We once had such light in our world as well, uh, and it was precious to us, even if we did not use it to battle with Pokemon. Captain Fico, it is nearly time. While our technology is advanced, it must be modified to work to its fullest with Pokemon. We must go now to meet with a scientist who is versed in the uh, ways of Pokemon, or we will have to no hope achieving such a thing. Are they talking about Colrus? Because I know at this part of the game you do see Colrus. Well, in normal Sun and Moon, so I, I have no idea. 
Um, I still like the uh, Ultra Recon Squad. I don't really have a reason to not like them. Like, they don't seem too evil. Like, they haven't, you know, had this. Okay, let me rephrase that. There hasn't been a dead giveaway that they're evil. I still have no idea, which is kind of cool. Ooh, there's a totem sticker. Is that Colrus? Yeah, okay, so that's who they were talking about. Or I'm assuming, at least. Oh my god, I remember. You can hear the little beeping noise. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to hear that, but it's coming from, like, Colrus, like, beeping his arm, and oh my god, it's just, it's an obnoxious noise. I think my episode of, um, Sun Randomizer that had this part in it was titled, like, Stop Clicking Your Arm. Yeah, it's just, it's... It's terrible. Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Colrus. Uh, the theme I re uh, my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is, I believe that uh, that it is the bond they share with their trainers. And thus, my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Z Power Ring. Uh, now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Super, is it? I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, uh, let me give you a TM. Flame Charge. Okay. I'll take it. I mean... The totem sticker in the back is kind of distracting me, but if you're able to f uh, fully utilize Flame Charge, you'll be able to have a great battle with the totem in the next trial. Oh, that's true. Is it a true potential? Oh, is it the true potential that I seek? Uh, does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently, there are unhabit uninhabited. What the? F uninhabited uh, islands for Pokemon called. Pokepelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Super, I hope you will excuse me. Alright, dude. I will catch you later. Collected 21 totem stickers. Yeah, so we still need to go back and get that Raticate. Before we leave for Ula Ula, I'll make sure to do that. Um, what's going on over here? I see some trainers that want to battle. What can we get on this route? I should check that out. Because the team is tentative forever. Like, we can always change something. Okay, right, that's not interesting at all, though. I'm still down to make changes to the squad if I find a Mon that I want to use more than anyone on the team. And that's not a big deal to me. So I guess I should, or I guess I would benefit from looking around a little bit in the grass. Alright, if I can find anything. I know Stuffle's on this route, uh, but I don't really want to replace Halucha. Okay, that's interesting. Trumbeak. We'll do like one more and then I'll continue on. Maybe do some more later. Uh, but Lush Jungle... <coughs> excuse me. Lush Jungle is where I really, really want to um, look for Pokemon. Because I know there's some really cool mods you can find there. For example, like a Rangaroo. Um, I don't think we'd use an Rangaroo. <coughs> God, what is happening to my voice? I don't think we would use one. However... I do want to use an Oranger. The only reason why I say not is because I don't really want to drop Inkay off the team because I do like using it. Uh, but at the same time, I've always wanted to use an Oranger in this game. And now would just be a perfect time, but whatever. We'll see. I know it's really, really rare anyways, so I don't think there's a chance we're going to even come across it. <sighs> we'll see, though. Also, Mimikyu would be a cool mod to use. I definitely would not mind that, especially because he has a new Z move. Hmm. Hmm. Mimikyu. I haven't even thought about that until now. I'm kind of down with that. I definitely am. Uh, I didn't th I didn't think she'd be able to see me from there, but whatever. Fine by me, I guess. We got to take on some of these trainers. We got to level up Santana. He's, you know, decently close to evolving. Um, so the sooner the better on that. She's got a stuff, though. Okay, do I want to try and take this thing on? Or no? I'll try it. I'm going to chuck a Thundershock in this thing. See how much it'll do. I don't know if it'll have a uh, fighting type move. Bite. Okay, that's not good. If this does a lot, we could be in trouble. What is Thunder Wave? Oh, wait, that's gonna kill me for sure. Alright, maybe we'll get lucky and this thing will get fully paralyzed. Um, here we go. This should do it. I can just pluck it too. Okay, we got a strat. I just wanted to go to a mod that has higher HP because doesn't Stuffle? Oh, it doesn't even matter. Doesn't Stuffle have a pretty high HP stat? I mean, it would make sense. It's 
you know, it looks a little more bulky, so that seems to be the general trend with that. Um, so taking off that much HP, double that would probably have killed Magnemite because Magnemite's HP stat is just absolutely booty butt cheeks buns. So we would have gotten blown away for sure. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that happening. All right, but we got to get around here. Where is the Lush Jungle? Is this the Lush Jungle? Oh, the Lush Jungle's over there. What am I doing? Wait, what is this though? Hold on. Hold on, I have no idea what this is. Sir? Welcome to the Dream Park. Oh, okay. So we get a fossil. Oh, there's a sticker right there. I was gonna say, there's probably a sticker over here. Or at least something. Right there. A rare bone. That's pretty rare. I'm not gonna lie. Um, are we close to Hea Hea City? Because we can pick up that Raticate. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we're just better off going into the Lush Jungle. Hey, hey, Super, you ever heard of the Festival Plaza thing? Yes, I accidentally triggered it and it was the most awful thing ever. Now I'm gonna have to go have some fun with my team. Shout out to you, homie. More power to you. All right, let's go up here. Uh, I don't think I need any more potions or healing items, anything of that nature, so we should be good to just run up in the Lush Jungle. Um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to have uh, Shakira get a couple levels before we take on this trial. But you know what? That's okay. Have we been over here before? I don't think we have. We haven't. There's gotta be a totem sticker over here somewhere. Uh, sir? What? What is he gonna hit the ball into? This, it's just a wall. What? This is the most inefficient way to play golf that I've ever seen. All right, bro. Sure thing. He's got a hoot hoot. Oh, we can just thunder shock this thing in the mouth. Let's go. All right. Uh, charge beam. Yeah. As soon as we go into lush jungle, though, definitely should put someone else up in front. I feel like Halucha might just be the way to go. I know halucha has been pretty much just like a free win, but in the Lust Jungle, that's where, you know, Halucha would kind of shine the most. We could try and take on some of the wild Pokemon with Shakira. I feel like Shakira would be able to do that. I can also give him the Fiery MZ. That way, if need be, we can use the Fiery MZ and take on... I was trying to find another rhyme, but I couldn't do it. All right, we did all that for a dive ball. We just beat a hoot hoot for a dive ball. Was it worth? Uh. Oh, hello. I didn't. Okay. Well, see you, dude. See you later. <laughs> no worries. Totally understand. I got you. All right. I'm not going back to the Pokemon Center just for that little damage we took from the uh, hoot hoot. Nah. I don't know. I'm just curious about these houses or. Because it just seems so random to have a house here and then get nothing out of them. But you know what? I guess that was exactly the case. Down here. <gasps> okay. I know what this is too. This is another Mon. That I wanted to use. Or that I was thinking about using. Wimpod. What the f and the reason for that is just, it seems like it'd be a pretty cool mod to use. I don't know how to actually encounter Wimpod. I know if you get up close to him, he runs into the little thing. So this could be a journey. This could be a journey and a half. I think we have Halush. Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, Wimpod's a mod that I was thinking about using and that we actually might throw on the team. I don't know who we get rid of though. Maybe Magnemite. That's probably who it would be. Oh, I should have used Wing Attack. I was thinking about killing Magnemites. Well, our Magnemite might die here. Our Magnemite might, yeah. He, oh, oh, oh. He might be dead or he might not. Let's see. Oh, my gosh, that did more there than it did to the uh, other thing. Oh, well, he's freaking dead. 
So if we catch this Wimpot, I don't know, it'd kind of be fun to use, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get some experience on Shakira, why not? Why not? Um, what would be the best idea here? Dragon Rage? Aerial Ace, boom. I keep forgetting I have Aerial Ace over Wing Attack. I mean, it's not a big deal at all, but still. I feel like Shakira is probably faster than a Machop. It makes sense. Let's see. Please level 23. Come on. Yeah. Look at that, level 18. So I have no idea what the totem's uh, level is going to be. I feel like if I gave a roto boost to Shakira, we would be fine, but even then I have no idea. I have no idea. Fire MZ plus roto boost, hmm. I feel like the defense boosts are just so nice because like, then you're just taking less damage. I know that's pretty intuitive, but if you think about it, it's really true how great that, uh, what's it called, roto power is. Why can I not use... Jeez, what was going on? Alright, um... Hold well, on, I'm gonna save here. Just because I literally have no idea what's going on. No idea how to lure this one pot over here. Hell. Well, that wasn't hard at all. <laughs> that really wasn't hard at all. What's up, buddy? All right, let's chuck a quick ball at this thing and see if we can catch it. Because I'm totally down to use a Galissapod. Galissapod is one of those mons that a lot of people decided to use on their first playthrough, which is completely fine, by the way. I'm just saying I skipped out on using it for- I actually have no reason why, like I just didn't use it. I think that because I- I think I missed out on it because when I tried to catch it, I messed up and it ran right back in the hole because I didn't know how to do it. So that's why I missed out on that. I also know that I can't get it under half HP. But um, this is now my shot to use it because I don't feel like a lot of people probably won't be using it if they used it in um, normal games. Um. If Santana was alive, well, I could revive Santana, to be completely honest. So I could uh, paralyze it. What's this thing's capture rate? Hmm. Oh, have hypnosis. Let's just do that. Totally forgot about this. So yeah, can't get it under half HP. Um, I feel like it'd be cool to uh, play around with emergency exit. That's gonna do a lot. Yeah, that did a lot, holy crap. Uh, okay. <laughs> I will take that. Alright, can you just chill? Can we please hit? Please hit, oh my god. Of course. Oh my gosh, we just need to hit one Hypnosis. I'm surprised the first Quick Ball didn't catch this thing. Uh, what is this? Oh, what? Okay, no, that's broken, let's go! Keep going for Sand Attack, keep doing that! Maybe I'll actually hit one of these. Let's see. Nope, not even with the- Okay, nope. That makes a lot of sense. Go for it one more time. Try it once more, Wimpod. Let's just see if I can- Maybe get the upper hand here. Struggle book. How did that last one do so much damage? This got a max max roll. Alright, I am plus four special attack right now. Oh wait, I haven't got I haven't even gone for hypnosis. Sand attack. There we go. Can I please hit this now? There should be no reason why I can't. Thank you. Oh my god. If we missed that one too. That would have been a miracle. That seriously would have a bad miracle, but you know what I mean. Um, water or bug type? Perfect. You guys are probably screaming at me to use this net ball. I swear, if this doesn't catch, this is the perfect ball for this mon. 
Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what else I would have to do. All right, so a potential new team member. I don't really see a reason to not add it to the team. We'll still think about it for now, but... Um... I have absolutely no idea what to name this thing. So we're naming him Harold. Harold the Wimpod. And... We'll send it to a box for now. Just for now. Oh, what was that? A nugget. Okay. So... Lush Jungle is over here. But... What is south? Oh, that's the south part. Okay, I know what that is. Let's go up and heal and then check out our Wimpod really quickly. I know I probably should have just looked at the summary, but we have to heal anyways because our Magnemite is freaking dead from those Machops. All right. <clears throat> I'm still trying to decide if I want to make this team change happen. Should we? It's not too late. It really isn't. Because so I can also level it up off screen. It's adamant. Oh my god, yes, we're adding it. For now, we're going to drop off this thing. Um, and this is what the team is going to be. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. For now, at least. It's still tentative, obviously. We could change it. Um, change it around a lot more. So the plan actually is... I'm gonna see if I can level up a couple of these guys off-screen. Especially, you know, Wimpod and Salazzle. Shakira, I should say. To around the level of the whatever the totem poke. But then I have to... I can't do that. I have to estimate because I don't want to spoil what the totem Pokemon is for myself. Oh, well. I'll maybe just... If I can speak English, I'll maybe just level them up to 23. Get everyone up to 23. That's not already over 23. That sounds like a good idea to me. Unintentionally rhyming is my favorite thing in the world. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode right there, guys. The plan was to go to Lush Jungle today, but we're just going to save that for next time. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.